with the names that Adam had to give to creatures, he's doing something else. It's a little bit more philosophical, but I think it's even more important. When Adam names creatures, he's affirming the objective reality of existence. That's what modern philosophy says you can do. You see, because we are locked into our own substantial experience of seeing and knowing and feeling, all I can really know is my own experience and my own thoughts and my own ideas. I, don't, I can't know if the color... I'm bad at colors. What is this? Purple? Burgundy, thank you. Wine. If the color burgundy look, maybe burgundy looks blue to you, and, and blue looks, you know, burgundy, but you've been taught to recognize it and call it that your whole life. And all of this nonsense that each one of us is completely this subjective, isolated being, and we can't even know anything for sure, except our our feelings at the moment. You know, this, this postmodern existentialist nonsense that denies all reality can be known objectively. You know, you've heard it. There is no objective truth. All is relative. When Adam names the animals, he's denying that. That animal exists and it has a name. You can't do that if it's all subjective. If there's no reality out there to actually perceive. I'm not imposing reality by my perceptions. I am receiving reality because it was created by God. And to affirm an objective reality. This is a little philosophical, but I want you to think about this. For there to be something rather than nothing takes an infinite power. Why? Because there is infinite space between something and nothing. That should be basic. To go from nothing to something is infinity. So for God to make something out of nothing, God must have infinite power. So for us to affirm that there is something rather than nothing, we're not just affirming the creature. We're affirming that there was a God. And if you want to know why we ended up where we ended up over 6,000 years of philosophical fleeing from God, it's because we don't want God in our thinking. We don't want to affirm that there really is a creature that there really is maleness and femaleness. I mean, there's a lot of things that we're denying today that are real, that are objectively true. And that's what Adam affirms. This is man's good work. He is submitting to his creator. He is naming the creature, which by definition says there's a creator. Because if there's a thing, there's a thing maker. And the only way to make something is to be infinite in power because nothing needs to go infinity to 